So what exactly is a medical device? What everybody, really everybody should know. Medical devices have very strict definitions and parameters. They can be categorized as the following items. Any instrument, apparatus, machine, appliance, implant, computer software, material, or other similar or related articles. What is a medical device designed to do? Medical devices are intended by the manufacturer to be used for human beings. They can be used alone or in combination with one another for specific purpose. What's the purpose of a medical device? Medical devices are designed primarily to aid in the diagnosis, prevention, monitoring, treatment, or alleviation of disease. What's interesting is that a medical device doesn't treat disease chemically speaking. Medical devices support the anatomy and physiological processes of the human body. They don't change them like a pharmaceutical or medicinal product does. Medical devices don't stop at diseases. They can be used for the detection of monitoring, treatment, alleviation, or compensation of injuries and or disabilities as well. There are also medical devices that collect data for investigation of diseases and much more. Devices that modify or even replace anatomical structures exist. Contraceptive aids readily available in stores are also medical devices. Creams and solution can be medical devices, depending on the intent of the product. Here you see some more common devices, such as blood pressure cuffs, contact lenses, and machines that analyze samples or administer IV medications. Medical devices are in our everyday lives. Another interesting example is your everyday refrigerator. When it's filled with groceries at home, it's a home appliance. When it's filled with donated blood or medications in the hospital, it's now considered a medical device. Here's where things can get a bit tricky. The picture shown here is of breast implants and cellulose taps. Both are classified as medical devices. The breast implants may seem like a more obvious medical device product, as these are clearly defined as an implant. The cellulose tabs, however, are taken by mouth, the same way a medicinal or pharmaceutical product is taken. This can cause some confusion. Cellulose tabs expand in the stomach, helping the person who takes them feel fuller longer, with the overall goal of weight loss. The expanded tabs simply pass through the digestive system and are excreted without eliciting any metabolic or physiological changes. It provides a temporary structural expansion of the stomach and is therefore a medical device. There are a hundred times more medical devices out there on the market as medicinal products. Current round number estimates show about 5,000 drugs on the market and 500,000 medical devices. Each year, approximately 400 medical devices are removed from the market due to performance or safety issues discovered during post-market studies, which we'll get to in a later video. A big rule for medical devices is that the main purpose, also known as the principal intended action, in or on the human body cannot be pharmacological, immunological, or metabolic, but they can assist these processes in a diagnostic, physical, and or structural way. Thank you for listening, and I hope you enjoyed the small introduction to medical devices.